Pastorich here. This teaching is the full version of the forbidden fruit to the fruit that leads to life. Now let's take it back to Genesis. In the garden, Adam and Eve walked with God. They had everything that they needed. Food was supplied. Now, when they disobeyed God and ate of the fruit of the tree that he told them not to, sin entered the world and thus they were separated from God. The Wi-Fi password was removed so they no longer had access. Because, I say again, they ate of the forbidden fruit, disobeyed God's commandment. Now, as a result, God sent Jesus to us and he put him on the tree. That whoever eats of him will undo the curse that was done in the garden. That is why Jesus had to come and hang on the tree. Peter said, cursed is everyone who is hung on a tree, referring to Jesus. Now, why do they refer to the cross as a tree? Well, I mean, the Bible is not open to us by common sense, but yet there are certain things that you need to use a little common sense. A cross is made from wood. Wood is made from a tree, okay, it's, it's from a tree. So the whole idea of the restoration to make us right with God, righteousness, which means right standing with God, is only done through Christ himself. So by putting our faith and becoming born again, which is to eat of the bread of life, the food or the, the lamb of God, to partake of him, is to literally be transformed into a new creation, which is to uh, die to sin and be reborn to righteousness. It is that simple, people. Look, remember in the Garden of Eden when Adam woke up and he was, you know, found himself in the dirt and God brought him over to the Garden of Eden. Eve woke up in the garden. I could, you know, can you imagine her seeing the beautiful flowers, trees and fruits and birds chirping and everything? That's why uh, I heard another pastor say, that's why, you know, females love beautiful things because that was passed down from their mother. And guys don't mind wallowing in the dirt because when he woke up, that's where Adam found himself. You know, he was made from dirt. Okay, now, to be restored back to right standing with Jesus, it is to partake. It's not referring to communion, and this one statement here will solidify that. The two men that hung on the cross, neither of them they gave, uh, took part in communion, but yet one was with Jesus in paradise, you see? So that is just the, the communion, which is a whole other story or lesson, is just an acknowledgement of what Jesus has done for us, okay? That in itself does not save you. Whether you commune or not commune, take part in communion, has is irrelevant to your salvation. Salvation only comes to those who put their faith in Christ as the Savior of mankind, which Jesus' name means Jehovah's salvation. Okay, he's our Savior. He is the one that bridges the gap that was um, created in the garden. Now, back to what I was saying, where Adam and Eve had everything provided for them, food. Okay, well, shelter, I don't know about that part. The Bible doesn't say. But it's like camping. You camp out under the stars. You know, that's beautiful. But anyway, after the sin, the fall, what happened? God said, all right, from now on, I gave you everything. I provided everything for you, but you want to take it upon yourself? Okay, from now on, from the sweat of your brow, you shall eat. So you see, when we separate ourselves from God, we have to fend for ourselves. And how do I back that up? Very simple. All my preaching is scripture. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added to you. You see, once you are restored to right standing, you have a loving father in heaven who is willing to give you everything. I testify to this. I have no support from anyone to my walking ministries online, but yet I have everything that I need. 
somehow I always am provided. Okay? Now, this I'm going to add in there for those who are given ministries, whatever it is. Okay, God give everyone a ministry. You just have to know what that is for you. If He gives you a ministry, He will provide for your ministry. You do not need to go and seek from anyone to provide for you. How does He provide? He provides through people. He will give me the means to give to you. But when you put your faith on any person to provide for you, you have taken your focus off the provider. Seek first the kingdom of heaven and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Yes, He uses us, but I see many of you out there are doing it the wrong way. Yes, He uses people to provide, but I see many and hear from many that are almost demanding that I support them. That's not my calling. My calling is to preach the Word of God and to guide those who are living in darkness. I am familiar with that darkness because I used to live a sinful life and now I no longer do that. I am born again. You must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven. Unless a man be born again, Jesus said, he shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven. Scripture and the end of the Bible says, when I return, he who is holy, let him be holy still. And he who is unholy, let him be unholy still. God himself says, be holy for I am holy. And without holiness, no one shall see God. In what I have just said, no human being on the planet can override telling you that you cannot live a holy life. God himself said that. So therefore, Jesus says, be perfect as your heavenly Father in heaven is perfect. Without perfection, we cannot enter eternity. But it is through Jesus' perfection that is bestowed upon us that makes us righteous and perfect before God. Not man's perfection of thinking worldly possession is what makes you right. Did not Jesus say, what does it merit a man to gain the entire world but lose his soul? What, you win a billion dollars today and die tomorrow? And what have you? Nothing. Whoever is left behind squanders your wealth. But God does not object to you having possessions or else he would contradict himself when the Bible says, honor me with your possessions. You see, stop misquoting and misunderstanding scripture, please. Listen, write yourself with God. Again, I started out by saying this is the full um, version of the forbidden fruit and the fruit which leads to life. But sometimes I get uh, sidetracked because it is necessary to add certain things in there, which I have done. So remember, Jesus is the restoration of the separation that happened in the Garden of Eden. Remember, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Him. Seek the kingdom of heaven and everything that is needed to fulfill your ministry will be provided by the Father. Abba! I'm Pastor Rich, Walking Ministries Online, and I will see you soon.